All right, I'd like to take a little time today to go over the Android uh, AgLogic mobile app uh, and understand what the operator is going to experience in the cab. So looking at here, we have the map view we're looking at currently. We also have a jobs view we'll look at in a moment. Uh, the maps view shows an overview of the current locations of all the work orders as well as the landmarks associated with uh, that operator. We can toggle the landmarks off and clean up the map view. Uh, one thing to also note here uh, in the right hand side there you see a blue dot that's uh, the current location uh, of the operator so they can view that in reference to all their work orders. <clears throat> From there the operator can go in and choose uh, the first work order on their list. And then from there we can go in and check on that work order and see the details view of it. So this takes us automatically takes the operator into the jobs view. From there the operator can see a list of the details associated with that job. Uh, any comments that come through, the individual products that are associated with that job are included in that work order. From there, let's take a look at the job status. This uh, is the timer to keep track of all the, the statuses of the operator uh, when they're working a job. We also have a field view tab. That shows the, the field. And if the operator were in the field or in this vicinity, uh, the operator would be indicated by that blue dot again. So it provides a positive recognition for that operator that they are in the right field. Uh, from here, if the field entrance is incorrect, the operator could change that field entrance by choosing change a field entrance, pressing and holding, and then dragging uh, over to a new field entrance, and then releasing. That's how you can update a field entrance. From there, uh, if there's files associated with a work order, they would be in here. We'll just skip down and take a look at this work order and the files in there. When we look at the files, if they haven't been transferred yet, there's going to be an indication to the operator up here to transfer files. For, to, in order to transfer files, an operator may need, depending on the tablet that they have, they may need uh, an adapter. So this is a Samsung tablet with a 30-pin uh, cord on the bottom of it. And so they need this 30-pin Samsung adapter with a USB uh, that can plug into there. Those files are then transferred to that USB, and the operator can then transfer them to the display of their choice. Let's go back to our work order here. So we've taken you through uh, all the different tabs here. Now the operator is essentially ready to start their day and they want to get driving directions to this field. They would go up here and choose driving directions. That's going to open up Google Maps or a default driving directions navigation that they have and pr provide that operator uh, with a route to their uh, location. And their operator can easily get back into AgLogic. <clears throat> And they're at the field right now, ready to start their job. So let's go ahead and start this job. It's going to automatically start calculating time in the idle bucket. From there, the operator can choose if they want to be uh, loading, uh, waiting, machine failure, or applying. And these times go back in for a time calculation for to be able to run reports based off of machines as well as operators in the website. From there, we'll say that we're done applying and the operator is ready to complete the work order. Uh, one thing to note, the operator can decide if this uh, work should be incomplete. They can mark it incomplete also. We're going to go ahead and complete this job. That's going to pop up a completion form. Uh, from here, if we have any as-applied files we'd like to send back into AgLogic, we can do so. Otherwise, uh, we'll go ahead and complete the amount of acres that we have uh, completed here. So acres done, 100%. We can add in details here for crop stage, field moisture, field surface, and crop conditions. We've got weather conditions, uh, specific applicator information, and we got pest. Additional comments, a free form field for the operator to be able to enter comments in there. And then ultimately the operator has to sign the job uh, from a legal requirement in order to be done. From there, simply hit the submit button and submit that work order. Uh, at the bottom down here is the, the completed work orders. Also at the top, you can see completed acres out of how many acres we have total left to do. So 108.9. 
of 603 acres complete. So that uh, really takes you through this, uh, the operator's operation here. Uh, other things to note on the tablet, uh, they've got the menu in the upper right hand corner. Uh, from there we got the jobs and map that also correspond with the same jobs and map uh, tabs up in the upper left hand corner. Be able to change the user and the machine information. Uh, device info, uh, ability for the user to log out, privacy and legal. And at the bottom down here we have the help menu. So if there's any questions on the tablet and the functionality, uh, we can use the help menu to understand that a little bit better. Uh, this little blue uh, line here indicates connectivity with the tablet. So when it's blue, uh, it tells you that it's connected. When it turns red, uh, that means that it's not connected. This provides some diagnostics uh, capability to be able to understand the GPS queue, uh, sending information in, status queue, and then as applied queue uh, is the prescription file data coming in and out. 